Hello everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. Uh, today we're going to take a look at making beautiful presentations without a learning curve, meaning that you may be used to uh, PowerPoint or even Keynote, uh, but today we're going to do something with an app that helps you really make simple and beautiful, uh, I don't want to say PowerPoints, but you know, kind of PowerPoints. Um, or the equivalent of them for uh, simple presentation purposes. So we're using Haiku Deck today. Um, Haiku Deck will let you create simple presentations. It'll help you find beautiful images and it will let you share to anyone. Um, my personal favorite feature about it is the beautiful images. It really makes things easy to use. Um, you might have noticed that today's presentation is a little bit different and that's because I'm actually using Haiku Deck right now to uh, show you this information, to show you these slides where normally I use Keynote. Um, so Haiku Deck is, in my opinion, the easy option to make a presentation right now and today we're going to take a little look at it. Okay, so for today, first things first, um, I am using the iPad version and you can also use it on the internet, but I thought I haven't done a tutorial on the iPad for a while, so I kind of wanted to change things up. So we are going to open up Haiku Deck. And uh, this is the pre presentation that I had made before. At the bottom, you can see the plus sign. And this will let you make a new presentation so here we go we're gonna start um, the very first thing you should notice at the very top is this button called theme and it lets you choose a number of themes uh, you know five or six for free and if you want to pay a couple of bucks you can choose from all these other themes that they give you at the at the end here um, but to start with, I think you're going to be totally fine with just these free themes. Uh, I'll pick uh, Cinematic. And all you're going to do is type right into the beginning of it. So I'm going to tap to edit. And I'm going to say... Haiku... <laughs> I can't type, sorry. Deck on EdTech. Okay, uh, haiku deck on edtech.tv and um, a basic tutorial. There we go, my first slide is ready to go. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, we have a few options. Please remember that haiku deck is simple. So the first option is uh, obviously the text. We just filled that one in. The second option is the background, okay? Um, now, take a look here because this is really, really kind of my favorite part. This image search will let you do kind of anything. So you type in, let's say, um, education. And it's gonna give me all these related images to education. And these are really, really beautiful images. So, um, Let's say I'm just going to pick this first one. Check out how good that looks. It's just clean, simple. They find these nice pictures, and that's all I have to do. Okay. Now, I'm ready to make my second slide. Click the plus button over there on the bottom right, and here I am again. Let's say I want to make a list. And uh, I'm going to pick down here. You can see on the on the select format, I've got like number bullet lists, number lists. I can make the the uh, just this text information. I'm going to go for a bullet list. Um, I'm going to say hamburger burrito pizza. Okay, uh, hamburger, burrito, pizza, and again, I'm going to pick a different background. So let's go with, uh, maybe we can find something interesting for pizza. 
no surprise that there are lots of beautiful choices here. There we go. I got a pizza image in the background and I've got my little list of foods there. So we looked at the backgrounds and those were really beautiful, but what if we went to the second one and we select a chart? This is so cool and such an easy way to, um, to add a chart. So let's call this, uh, let's say we want this one as our chart. Um, how easy is haiku deck? And we'll call label one easy and label two very easy. And then check this out. See these little tabs here? All I have to do is touch them and drag them to change it to whatever percentage I want. So let's say 25% of the people think it's very easy and uh, you know 75% think it's just easy. So if I wanted to add a little bit more, I can touch this plus sign right here in the middle and I can say um, hard. And clearly this isn't particularly hard, so I'll shrink the size of that down to uh, 3%. And there I have a um, presentation with a, a graph information. I can also choose a bar graphs or number graphs. It's pretty cool. Lots of different choices. Let's go on. Add one more. Here I can choose different layouts for how my... Uh, how the actual text appears. This is where I want to kind of give you a little bit of caution. Um, Haiku Deck, awesome as it is, there's not a lot of options in terms of bringing in other pictures on top of the background. So you're not going to have, you know, pictures on tops of pictures and layers with all the stuff that you would do with PowerPoint. And that's kind of the point, right? Um, you know, think of it as a haiku. It's a beautiful, it's simple, and it's just meant to be used and enjoyed just like that. So, um, you know, I might pick a layout like this. Simple and simple and intuitive. Then if I go back and I want to change my background, check out how it pulls the words that you've used in your uh, slide. So it already knows here. It says simple and intuitive. It's so cool. So let's see what words it, or what pictures it shows me for simple. I like all of these. I'm going to go with the snail. And there we go. Um, the bottom, the yellow one here is uh, notes. Um, you can choose to either have public notes or private notes. Um, and those will show up later depending on how I want to present them. If I change the iPad to go into vertical mode while I'm playing, um, we'll be able to look at those. So let's say we're going to go back and uh, go back to the first slide. I'm going to hit play. So here we are with the deck that I've created. Um, take a look at it. Slide one. Slide two. slide three and slide four. Uh, really pretty straightforward. It shows you, you know, how, how easily you can make these uh, slides for everything. Really like it. I really recommend it. Uh, so let's flip back out of the presentation mode and right back into the app. I did want to point out a couple of things uh, here where we have our uh, image searches play around. One of the things that I really like here is this import option. So you can import directly from your photos or you can even take a picture. Um, you can really enjoy some fun stuff with your students here. That's me. 
Uh, I don't know if you like that or not, but you know, maybe the, maybe with your students you could get a, a slightly better looking model. Um, and so that could be a really fun way to do things. You can also go into import and uh, check out these other sites and services. So you can pull in pictures from Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, and um, see what you like. Finally, we're going to look at the second coolest function. Um, my personal favorite is the fact that it has access to so many beautiful images. But the second coolest function is right here on the bottom left. You see this little arrow with the little share type of icon. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to let you sign in to uh, Facebook, Twitter, or email. I'm going to do Twitter. Okay, so I can put all this information on here if I want to. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, I can choose how I want to share this. Um, save it to the web and unlock the full potential of Haiku Deck. It's pretty cool. Um, so I can make it public, private, or restricted. Um, I can put it in their galleries if I wanted to. I'm going to call this... Uh, and I'm going to say publish. Oops. Education. So now I have these cool options to share it out to Facebook, Twitter, email, uh, post it to my blog, make it into a PowerPoint or a Keynote, or just copy the URL. Um, let's say that I want to uh, just copy the URL to start with. Now I can have a copied version and I can share that out to anybody that I want. Um, let's say that I want to post it to my blog. All I have to do now is email this to myself. And send. And it'll tell me exactly how to cut and paste it right into my blog. So you will see this directly underneath the video tutorial on edtech.tv on this particular training. So for some reason, the easiest applications and uh, services from uh, somehow seem to get the longest tutorials, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to jump right into your homework. Keep it simple. Number one, go to haikudeck.com. Um, you can do it either with the iPad app or directly on their website. Number two, create a simple three-page presentation. Actually, I don't really care about the numbers. Just do it. Try it out. And uh, finally, share the link with me at edtech.tv. Uh, if you go to this particular post and leave it in the comments, that would be awesome. Uh, that's it. As always, find me on Twitter at EdTechPrincipal, on YouTube at uh, EdTechPrincipal as well, and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash EdTechTV. Thanks so much, you guys, and I will see you soon.